Welcome to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to try, probably for the last time, because I've tried playing this game a couple different times and it just really hasn't taken off. Uh, but I have I have an idea. I want to try it, and if if it doesn't fit or if it doesn't uh, take off, then we'll probably just let this game fizzle out and let the people who have established their farm, farm sims to uh, take over. So uh, basically what we have, and that's a horrible looking map right now. Let me turn off all the grass fields. Because uh, yes, we are basically in Greenland with a, well, it's the Greenland's map. I don't think it's actually Greenland because from my geography in like third grade, uh, Greenland is covered in ice and Iceland is covered in mostly grass. So, uh, I've been to Iceland, I haven't been to Greenland, and uh, I wouldn't say it's mostly covered in grass, a lot of it's volcanic, but it is uh, a very pretty place. Anyway, so we're on the Greenland's map, uh, we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I unfortunately had the displeasure of being laid off right before Christmas, and two months later in February I found out that my great uncle had died and had left me his farm in this wonderful area. So basically the farm, when he died, his farm was not doing so great. So the bank came in and they sold off all the animals. They sold off most of the land he had, except for these two fields, uh, which you can see here. Uh, grass field number one, grass field number two. And uh, yeah, they sold everything off, sold all the equipment, and left me with the land. So I was lucky enough to had, I guess, lose my job. But uh, at the time, I, I wasn't, I didn't feel so lucky. And so I've decided to uh, try my hand at farming. So I have very, very little knowledge on farming. And I have sold my house, sold my car, sold everything. Uh, I was never married, unfortunately. Uh, never met the right gal, I guess. And uh, my life savings came out to $211,538. So uh, we're going to try to uh, make a living off of that. So. Uh, we do have a pretty nice farm. I'll do a quick tour before we uh, go to the store and start uh, spending our hard-earned money. <laughs> but we have a lamb farm, or should I say sheep farm, sheep barn. We have a pigsty here, which is literally a pigsty. <laughs> and then over here, we have a couple of uh, manure silos or chaff silos, whatever you want to call them. Along with a couple, two barns for storage of various things that are, well, sitting completely empty. We have our silo. We have our barns. Which again, pretty nice. I believe they're fully lit. Uh, let's just double check. Yep, that would be, uh... Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we got lights in them. We've got electricity. Uh, looks like I forgot to turn off the lights. Oh. I guess we'll just clip through the door. Is that not? That's not turning off my lights. I can turn on the lights, but I can't turn them off. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, yeah. Stop messing around with the sheds. Uh, around here we have a nice little clean tube, I guess. A another shed for storing wonderful implements or bales. We have another uh, silo uh, for manure or chaff or hay or silage or whatever. Whatever we feel, dear. Uh, he did, and I think this is really where he went uh, bankrupt, is he went and put in a food mixer, a uh, total mixed rations maker. Uh, where all you have to do is put in your silage, your hay, or your straw, and your hay. And then it will automatically mix and feed the cows, which 
I mean, I gotta give it to the bank. They clean this place out. They really clean this place out, so... Uh, they took all the animals. And, uh... Yeah, they, I mean, they scrubbed this place. Looks brand freaking new. Unless this was part of the package where he, uh... Just put this in. And then ended up going bankrupt, so... We've got a nice little, uh... Pasture here for the cows. Can't wait to get those. We, uh... We will eventually get cows, but unfortunately right now, we just don't have the money. Um, and what I'm shooting for is is pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to try to, because it's March, I'm going to try to get some silage made from my two grass fields, which I'll take a quick jog over here and jump and run through the mud and jump. As you can see, they're ready for the first mow of the year. And so we gotta go, uh, we gotta go get equipment for that, so... Let's actually use the, uh, the map here. And head down to the store. And boom! Nice, uh, nice transportation, right? Probably the only time I'll ever do that. Uh, but we have to go on a shopping spree, so let's go, let's go shopping. Uh, first of all, we gotta get a tractor. And I didn't point this out, but there is a small charger or a small charging station on the uh, farm. So I think we're going to do electric for, for some reason. I want to do electric and uh, I did. I did look up on the mod hub and there is no electric anything besides like three things. And one is a tractor like this. In fact, I think it's exactly this tractor, just a different uh style or color uh which we will be changing the color whoops if i if i know what button to push press uh i'm thinking that color no i don't i kind of liked it now i don't don't like that color either it is rather expensive um oh uh, i could paint it olive and call it Oliver. You know what? Let's do it. Let's call this Oliver. <laughs> Can I? Oops. Yeah, let's Oliver. Oh, it's not. Okay, one. Um, there is no V. Oh, why does it? Okay, let's try different plate number style. Okay, we only got those, so we're gonna we're gonna do something. Fancy here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. How do I? I wish they had more. I wish they had more controls. There we go. So we're going to go O L 1 B 3 R. Uh, where is it? R. There we go. And then, uh, how do I get rid of? This is where I wish the controls, like, it I just gives me okay and back. So, yeah, that's going to be a hyphen. Um, I don't know how you delete. Can I just... Yeah, it won't let me delete. Insert doesn't work. Uh, if anyone knows how to do this... We are going to be known as Oliver. Uh, now I got to figure out how to go forward. I guess I have to. I'm, I'm thinking old school here. Yeah, you, you got to do that again. We're going to go Oliver. Uh, do I want to say. Yeah, we'll just go 01. There we go. That's that's how we're doing it. All right. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and. Hit OK. That's our little Oliver tractor. Uh, we're not going to put anything on it. Uh, we're already spending $1,500 just to paint this stupid thing. Uh, so that's probably a huge waste of money, but I don't care. Um, I think I'm just going to go with the... Oh, the Midas tires are pretty fat. I kind of like that. Fitment's a little off. 
Although it only really seems to be the front tires that it changes. The back tires are, yeah, the back tires. Okay, so we'll, we'll go with the Midas's. Why not? So let's go ahead and buy that for $51,000. Ouch. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Uh, now let's grab, we got to get a mower. So I believe that's probably too much. Um, so we're going to try, we're going to, we're going to try this one. So let's buy the mower. Let's get, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. what else do we need? Uh, let's get most, most of the grass care, uh, right now. Uh, so we need a windrower, which will be, I'm thinking just the pottinger here. Yep. That, that will be good. And, uh, let's see, what else do we need? Oops. Where did my, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, we definitely need a baler. Ooh. What do we need for wrapping? Oh, that's going to be tough. I guess we could do that. Although that's round. This one will do square because I think we're going to have to do square. But it only does 180. What is the baler? This baler is 120. All right, well, we might have to do something different. Um, so let's go ahead and buy that. Yes, we want to purchase that. Uh, we are going to have to figure out something. I wanted to do silage, but I think we might not be able to. So. Yeah, well, you know what, we'll just, we'll go with it. We won't buy a wrapper yet, because yeah, we don't, maybe I can find a square wrapper that is a 120, I believe, is that what we bought? Yeah, we need a 120, so actually, you know what, let me uh, check the mod store real quick. Change of plans. Uh, there are no wrappers that will do a 120 bail. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is change my direction and we are going to get a tether uh, so that we can make hay instead of silage. So uh, I think what we're going to do is go ahead and that's 4.4. These are all pretty, obviously way too big. Um, you know what? That one right there seems to be the best bet. I know. You know what? Let's let's go small. Let's go with the smallest that we can get. <clears throat> and we'll upgrade because that's that's what this whole series is about is upgrading to bigger and bigger things. So, uh, so a little slight change of plans. Uh, let's see. We've got our baler. We got our wind roller. We got our uh, tether and obviously our mower and tractor. So uh, I think the one thing that we definitely should buy, because I'm changing my plan, none of these will hook up to a tractor, will they? No, I need to get a vehicle for that. So, I think what we're going to do... Ah, you know what I do need? Uh, where was it? Uh, trailers. It was under... I think it was in our bailers, wasn't it? Yes, here we go. So we need, uh, let's see, what do we need here? Kind of want this thing. Yeah, we're going to buy this multi-packer. So this should, and I say should, it should. <laughs> I don't know where where does it hold 14 bales? I have I have no clue, but uh we're gonna buy this and check it out. I haven't used it before, so who knows what's going on with it. But it is a large chunk of our money. And then again we need the uh we need the trailer, so let's go with that. We've got thirty thousand dollars left. Uh so we don't have a whole lot of money left, but hopefully. <laughs> that scared me for a second because, uh, yeah, I've never actually used this before, so 
Uh, do do We need the... No, we need the, uh... Yeah, the tether. We need the tether. That's what we need. Let's go ahead and bring that. You know what would be pretty cool? <laughs> if we... If we can run both these machines... Yeah, if I can mow the grass and tet it at the exact same time, that will save so much work. So much work. Oh. Sorry, not paying attention there. For some reason, when I uh, came back from the mod store, I totally uh, thought, it, oh, well, yeah, we're definitely in Europe. But I totally, uh, yeah, forgot that... Uh, or I, I, I thought I maybe have possibly forgot to start recording, which would have been kind of embarrassing. But anyways, let's do a quick tour. So this is actually our property. Well, it's not really our property anymore. Most of our fields to the left, these all these uh, arable fields have been sold off to local farmers who actually uh, I've talked to, and they are in greens to selling them back to me once I get the money. So, if all else fails, they get to keep the land, and uh, yeah, I end up selling what I have here to one of them. So hopefully that won't be the case, but you never know. I'm going to be pretty shocked if we can mow and... Ted... Tedder, I guess. Mow and Ted? Is that how I want to say it? If we can uh, mow and tether at the exact same time, it will be uh, it will be pretty cool. So there's a downfall about the the mod I put in about the workable gates uh, just randomly opening. But let's go ahead and get some action, and uh, let's go ahead and first select the mower. Let's unfold it. Let's lower it. Let's turn it on. And then we're going to unfold the tether behind us. Now the tether is actually slightly wider than our mower, but that's okay. Uh, let's lower it and turn it on. And let's see how fast this uh, quote unquote drains our battery. Um, so as you can see, ooh, the tether is keeping us from getting as close as I would like to the fence, but that's that's all right. That's fine. We don't have to. It's a grass field. It's not that uh, it's not that important that we get every little bit of it. But I do want to get a good chunk of it. So, and you know, what? I might uninstall that. It's it's really nice not to have to open the gates. But I wish it was more controllable, where you could push a button and then it opens the gate for you. Alright, so we are, yeah, I mean, we are, we are tetting and mowing at the same time on an electric vehicle. So by no means, like I said, are we going to do a, a zero emissions or an all green farm? Although being Greenland, uh, <laughs> or Greenland's map, I should say, it's not a horrible idea. Uh, it's just unfortunately there's no other, there's no real tractors that run on electric, uh, so that's kind of out of the, the question. It would be kind of cool if somebody had made a bunch of electric things so that you could do a quote unquote green farm, but you know, it is what it is. So uh, yeah, let's jump to a cutscene. Actually, you know what? We'll do a time lapse. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Not a, not a, not. We're not jumping. We're going to do a time lapse, uh, and I'm also thinking, I'm going to shoot to try to keep the videos about 30 minutes long, 20 to 30 minutes, keep them on the short side. Uh, so you never know, this might be episode two, but uh, yeah, we'll see you, we'll see you hopefully when we're uh, closer to being done, if not done, all the way.
So, I'm not gonna lie, we need a bigger mower already. <laughs> I, I should have thought about this. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn off our tether. Let's go ahead and lift it. I'll fold it up and lift it. And then the front we will turn off and then lift and fold. Let's go sell this and let's just go bite the bullet. Let's hopefully make sure that this doesn't look ridiculous. Although, I realize if I went with the pot Pottinger, uh, I would have mostly Pottinger tools. So that's, yeah, that could have been a thing. Oh well. Let's see. Yeah, we are definitely running much better with this one. Uh, so let's go ahead and turn off the mower, lift and fold. <laughs> No need to uh, mow the grass while we're on our way back to the, uh, the property. Good. Nope. Wrong place. Sorry, I'm new to this area. I don't know where I'm going. And I don't know where I've been. All right, there's our farm. It's nice. It's pretty. It's not bad. You know what? We can make it. We can really make this a successful farm. So, and I'm gonna push this series. I'm going to uh, do at least one episode a week, and yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have some fun farming, uh, which probably doesn't get said very often, does it? <clears throat> and like I said, I'm gonna try 20 20 minute episodes. It's going to be a little different in the beginning because I'm not going to really know how much I have to film in order to get to said 20 minutes uh, because this this series is going to have a lot of editing involved. So uh, it's just it's just one of those things. All right. So let's uh, lower and unfold. Or I guess you unfold and then lower. Uh, let's turn that on and then let's unfold and then lower and then turn on let's see all right let's go back to a time lapse and let's see how much faster this is Alright, I think what we'll do is I will finish this up here, which is <laughs> just a sliver of grass, and we will take care of the rest of the grass in the next episode. Uh, I am trying to figure out how long I need to record for, 
uh, to make it about the 30 minute mark. Let's turn off the... Oh, we gotta turn off the header. There we go. So yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. So I'll, uh, the, the, the episodes may fluctuate between 20 minutes to, I don't know, maybe an hour. Who knows? If you guys want to see the, the hour long episodes, let me know. I don't have a, I don't have a problem making them a little bit longer. Uh, but I figure that gives us a quick mowing job. Uh, when we start the next episode, then we will get to bailing and we will hopefully get to, uh, getting some sheep because I think that's going to be our main source of income right now is some sheep. So that should, uh, that should work out nicely for us. But thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you liked the episode. Give a thumbs down if you didn't like the episode. Let me know what I was doing wrong, what you didn't like about the episode if you did. And then I like always, if you did like the episode, go ahead and give me uh, that thumbs up and, and let me know uh, what you liked about it in the comments. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.